I posted two videos about my favorite Mac apps and you absolutely loved my recommendations. So here's one more video so that you can enjoy your Mac just that little bit more. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Tech Car Moon, we uncover tech at home and in video. So hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more. But today I'm gonna to show you my top five favorite utilities for the Mac part two. If you haven't watched my last two videos, then I definitely think that you should check those out as they're pretty awesome and I got some really good feedback from them. But anyway, let's uncover my top apps right now. The first application that I'm really excited to show you is Cursor Pro. And as you can see, I'm using it right now. So it basically puts a halo around your mouse and it's also got a built-in magnifying feature. So if I just hold down the key, as you can see, I'm highlighting basically anything that I want to. So again, it's that, that simple. And also if you click, as you can see, it animates all the clicks as well. So if you're doing any tutorial videos or anything like that, this is gonna be a lifesaver because it's gonna save you a lot of time in post because you're not having to sort of zoom in all the time. And again, it animates the click, which is much better than what is available built into Mac OS. So let's show you some of the preferences so that you can set this up the way that I have. So just on the top over here, you've got this little icon and you can turn it off and on and if we go into preferences, we go into color. So you can set it as your system accent. So for me, my system accent is blue, but let's say you've got pink or whatever, it will just set it as that. Then we've got the magnifying feature. So as you can see, it will allow it when I press FN, but you can have it for control or option. And then if we go into behavior, it just shows you how you can animate your click. Then you can hide the actual mouse itself when it's inactive, and then you can have it start at login. Now, if there was one thing that I, wish this application had. It's not a major thing, but I wish it had its own color picker so that you can choose exactly what color you want. But apart from that, this is an amazing app. As you can see, it is super versatile. It will really add another dynamic if you're doing any tutorial or walkthrough videos. And again, with all the clicks and stuff like that, as you can see, it's just it's just good looking. It adds that level of professionalism that you don't get with other uh, applications like this. The next application is called Dropover, and this is something that I use a lot when I'm transferring uh, files from my MacBook to my hard drive and then vice versa. And this is such a simple application, and I think it's $3.99 for the Pro version. You get a 14-day free trial, so you can try it out before you buy it. But I think for $3.99, the amount of times that it's come in clutch has well been worth it for that $3.99. So let's show you how it works. So right over here on my desktop, I've got a couple of files. And let's say I want to transfer it over to another folder. Well, typically what you'll do is you go into Finder, and then you would go into the folder, and then you would drag it over, and then you would move it over and everything like that but then you need to sort of come out of it and then go into that one and then drag it over and let's say you're switching between tabs as well so now you've got files in this one you also want to drag that one but you can only do it sort of one at a time so what you can do is, is if you click and drag and highlight the items that you want give it a good shake and a shelf appears now you can move this shelf wherever you want and you can even add stuff to it. So let's say copy that. Let's add this one to the shelf as well. And then let's go back into the documents and let's just chuck that just over here. It's now a really, really simple process. And for example, let's just highlight all of that and let's give it another good shake and pop it onto the shelf. You can also directly upload it to any of your cloud storages. So for me, it's Google Drive. All that I do is just pop it on the shelf as you saw and then just copy it to Google Drive. So let's show you the settings of this application so you know what you get with the application. So you've got a few settings just over here, which is fine. Let's go into preferences. So right over here, I've got uh, the drop over cloud enabled. That's always enabled when you set up the account. And then you've got your Google Drive, but you've got, you know, I cloud, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, uh, Imgur. So you got it all. And then in the general, as you can see, I've got the shape gesture because that's what I like. And then normal sensitivity is fine, but you've got high and ludicrous sensitivity. You can also have it so that it ignores certain applications. For me, I have it uh, set to launch at login. Then I've got the menu bar icon just up here because sometimes I like to switch it. I don't like it to show in the dock, but you can have it like that. And then you can uh, copy the contents to destination, which again, you can set it to allow it just to copy rather than move it. So rather than having to 
um, you know, control C or anything like that, you, you don't have to worry about that. So it's, it's really, really versatile. And it's, for me, been really clutch in those situations where I've saved so much time transferring to from my MacBook to my hard drive. The third application I've got to show you is called Hidden Me. And it's, to be honest, a very simple application, but super, super useful. So the way that it works is, is that we've all got a messy desktop. And if you got to show your computer to anyone, it's sometimes embarrassing how messy it can be. Or for example, like me, you need to do a lot of filming with your screen, let's say with tutorials and stuff like that. Well, with a single click, essentially, as it says, you can hide all of that. And they've also got a pro version so that it supports multi-display setups, which is really nice. For me, I've just got a single one. I'm just using the free version. So let me show you how this works. So for example, I've, to be honest, cleaned this desktop before this video, but I've taken some examples. So I've taken a few screenshots over here and let's say I've got to record and I don't want all of these items on the desktop. So if we go onto the top over here, there's this little icon. We click on that and we press hide desktop icons and that's it. It's hidden everything. I can still use this as a normal computer. It's just hidden those items. And then if I click and show, there you go. My items are back, no issues there. Now let's get into the preferences because this is really, really smart. So for me, I have it opened at login, which is cool. Now in terms of the hidden feature, so when you hide the icons, you can actually change how the background looks as well. So for example, I can use a solid uh, solid color or a custom wallpaper every time I do it. So let's say I've got pictures of, you know, my family or something like that as the background, but I don't want that to be the background uh, when I'm recording my screen or if someone is looking at my screen, for example, let's say I use it for work and for at home. Sometimes I don't want that same wallpaper everywhere. Well, what you can do is is when you click that hide feature it switches out of your normal setup so let me explain click on the hide desktop icons and can you see it's now changed it to my custom color and then let's say i'm back at home and boom it's party mic mode so <laughs> everything's all back to normal everything uh, that i have uh, on the desktop is visible to see so it is really cool. I mean, when, when I found out about this feature, uh, I, to be honest, went nuts because it was like, sweet, I can take it anywhere. I don't always have to have this picture, for example. And yeah, it's, it's just a really nice free app that I think you guys should try, especially if you are someone who uses your laptop for work or if you do any screen recording stuff with your desktop. The fourth application that I really wanna show you is called Clean My Mac X. And just to let you know, they haven't paid me, it's not sponsored or anything like that. This is just an application that I genuinely use on a weekly basis. And it's really, really smart. So let me get into some of the top features that I really like about this application. So just on the top here, you've got this little icon, as you can see, just click on that. And it's got some useful information just over here. I'll be honest, I don't really check out a lot of this stuff, but it is useful. Uh, just at a glance, but let's go into the settings by pressing this little Mac icon. And as you can see, just on the left, it's got a whole bunch of stuff. And I mean, it's just to make your uh, Mac computer run a little bit better. It's also got some malware protection as well. And it also just gets rid of really annoying system files and junk that's sort of buried uh, within the Mac that can eat up away at your memory. So if anyone's got any small hard drives or anything like that, this is really gonna help free out some of that space. So for me, they've got this really cool smart scan feature. So I just normally click on it. This is the easiest way of doing things. And as it says here, you know, you can clean it up. It's just going to do a general protection and then it's going to do some tasks to improve. And all that you do is just press run. It's going to go through. So yeah, let's just quit it. You know, let's just go ahead. We're doing this video. We're doing it live, guys. <laughs> It's gonna go through, it's gonna run all the scripts, as you can see, it's gonna free up some RAM. And that's essentially it. it it's, it's such a simple tool to use. And it's something that I use, like I said, on a weekly basis. And there you go, it's all done. It's cleared some of this junk and done a uh, sort of a quick scan, but you can run a deep scan just to make sure everything's fine. It's also got malware removal as well, which I, I do uh, quite a lot. And then you've got some privacy as well. So you can again do loads of scans. It's got speed optimization 
customization so you can run maintenance as well. It's got uninstallers so sometimes when you're running applications, it can leave junk in there, which is really, really annoying. So for example, let's uninstall this application. Let's just go for it. So it's gonna do it, do it. And there you go, it's now uninstalled that application and it's got rid of absolutely everything. We've got an extension here, which again, you can remove unnecessary extensions. I mean, it's got absolutely everything. You guys just should download it, try it, give it a go. Like with everything, there'll be links in the description below. But let's go on to our fifth and final application. This is called Vanilla and it's free of charge. They do have a pro version as you can see down here, which allows for certain things like compatibility with dark and uh, light menus, as well as being able to hide it uh, from the menu bar completely. And also automatically hide the icons again after five seconds and being able to start it up when you log in. For me, I just thought it was worth supporting the creators of this application because it is just so good. So as you can see, normally all the applications are on the top. Well, with this application vanilla, it allows you to hide it. So let me show you, you've probably seen it already, but as you can see, all my icons are on the top over here, but some of these I don't really access on a day-to-day -day basis. This, these are things that I might access every now and again, so I want it accessible, but I don't want it there all the time. Well, for me, I can just hide it, and now I've got my two applications that I use uh, on a regular basis and then the ones that I don't use are hidden away. Super, super awesome, really, really clean. So let me show you some of the things that I do with this. So let's go into preferences and as you can see it's hidden my screen recording because I'm screen recording at the moment and again you can have it set so that it automatically hides the icons after five seconds. So let's say I open this up and it's staying open, stay open, stay open and I've left it. After five seconds it will close it down again and I just really like the fact that this hides all my icons so I always have it uh, to start when I log in and that's it and if you want to hide any icons it's super easy all that you do is just literally press the command and the icon together and then just drag it over and let's I don't know let's just drag this one over as well for example and then we exit out of this application and now it's hidden, we can't see those. If we want to re-enable it, just tap on preferences again and then press the command and we can shift it over anywhere we want. And we'll put it back to the visible bit, we'll keep that bit hidden and then exit out of that and now they're back again. And it just works really simple. And it's, like I said, free to try. You can even just use the free version for, for life if you really wanted to. But if you really want to support the creators, uh, pay for the pro version, it's, it's well worth it. But there we have it, my favorite utilities that I think you should try out. I know that a lot of you guys absolutely love these types of videos and has helped you with your own Mac. Also, if there's any Mac apps that I haven't tried or mentioned in these last few videos, then please leave a comment down below because I really want to check those out. If you haven't already, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram at TechCarMoon. Give me a like on this video if you've enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Also, check out these fantastic videos that as always I've made myself that I think you guys should check out if you want to see more of this face. Anyway, everyone, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.